I am Wonder Mike, and I've come to say hello to the black, to the white, the red, and the brown, the purple and yellow. But first, you've got a bang, bang boogie to the boogie of this beat that I've got here. You're so white. This is a new song from Tom McDonald. You may have heard of Tom McDonald. He is a rapper from British Columbia. And he had uh, a song called Fake Woke that came out at the end of January, and it jumped to the top of the charts. Now, you know I'm not totally down with the hip hop, you know, all the time, man. I'm not like going into the clubs and how do you do fellow kids, but wherever people listen to hip hop. Uh, but I did take notice of this at the time. I said, oh my gosh, that's very impressive. And now he's got another song that's come out and that has jumped to the top of the charts. That song is called Snowflakes. I am going to take all of my pop culture knowledge and expertise. I'm going to channel it into examining this video. Before we get into it, just want you to remember this video is sponsored by Acre Gold the new way to buy gold. More from them later. First, let's get to the hippity hop. If you lie to the government, they'll put you in prison. But when they lie to all of us, it's called being a politician. You think taking guns away will save our kids from the killings? But you're pro-choice. Abortion kills way more children. If America's so terrible and racist, it probably isn't safe to encourage immigration. Just saying, all the contradictions are embarrassing. You know who hates America the most? Americans. Trigger warnings used to be Man, on that's TV for seizures. A good line. And now they're everywhere to protect millennials' feelings. He, she, his, him, hers, them, they screw up pronouns. Because everyone's oh, a retard. Hey, Blair White, look at that. At the protest that <laughs> hates is the problem. But hating straight men, white folks, and Christians is common. Coca-Cola telling people they should be less white. They preach intolerance, but if you disagree, they fight. There's a race war here. Elections based on fear. Black lives only matter once every four years. Soldiers died for this country and that's every one point, of us too. benefit. Give welfare to the bums and forget about the veterans Black folks and white folks divided by the news But we are all the same, we are red, white, and blue Ashamed to be American? Okay, that's cool Cause honestly, we are all ashamed of you too Y'all are so fake, oh no I like the idea that Blair White has this like super deep voice Whoa, you can make us see it your way No way, gasoline and bro They set us up to fail, that's what they built the system for Put an ammunition shop across the street from a liquor store Empowering women used to be different than this before The role models got OnlyFans or dance on a stripper pole Screw it, I ain't tripping, I don't mean to be mean But if our children are the future, then our future is bleak They take an Adderall to focus, hit McDonald's to eat They're addicted to phones and they take Xanax to sleep they blurred the lines dividing communism and democracy. In 2021, we paint the Patriots as Nazis. The men playing women's sports get trophies for winning. Like, great, let's celebrate a man for beating some women. If you're black, your life matters. You're supposed to embrace it. If you're rich or you're smart, then you're probably Asian. If you're gay, then you're brave. All of that I'm okay with. But if you're white, the stereotype is you are a racist. All right, let's pause it there. Let's pause it there. So this is actually very interesting lyrics, right? The lyrics here are making very good points but they're kind of undercutting themselves. He, right, he's making all these great points about how we used to view women in a certain le- way, but now we view women in this very degraded way, you know, because of their only fans and online porn and stuff. But then who's the woman in the video? The woman in the video is Blair White, who's not a woman. Blair is a man. I like Blair very much, a nice guy. But isn't that part of the problem? Isn't that, you know, the same thing with the degraded culture and everything. I, I love that if someone is going to listen to hip hop, that they're going to be listening to this. They should be listening to this over 99% of the other hip hop out there. (laughs) But I guess the question for conservatives is, can we win at this game? Can we win at the hip hop game? Can we win at the pop culture? Or can we win at saying our transsexuals are more attractive than your transsexuals? I remember there was a meme going around that was juxtaposing Caitlyn Caitlyn Jenner, Bruce Jenner, with that guy who wears a wig and he says he's a woman at the health department in the federal government. And the meme said, you know, our transsexuals are more attractive than yours or something. And you think, okay, like maybe I don't, again, I, I'm not exactly a great judge of that. But even if that's the case, you're accepting the left's premise. So are you still, are you really going to win or are you just kind of trying to grab a little ground around the edges, but ultimately you're playing on the left's turf. When you're playing on the left's turf, things are going to get a little bit crazy as we see in the culture. And one way to protect against that, Acre Gold. Acre Gold, a great way to buy gold. Acre lets you subscribe to gold bars for as little as $30 a month. Michael, you say, gold costs more than $30. You're right. However, Acre's figured this out. You don't need to come out of pocket all at once. You pay each month 
Once your gold stash reaches the price of their gold bars, they will discreetly ship Acre Gold to your house just recently. Acre has introduced a new $100 a month subscription to a 5 gram gold bar. Acre keeps you updated on your gold stash every single month and ships discreetly to your door once you reach that price threshold. Acre allows you to take physical delivery of your gold. It means it's safe, it's sound, it's in your hands. It's designed in California, sourced from one of the largest mints in Switzerland. I love it. I am invested in Acre Gold. They make it super easy. Head on over to getacregold.com slash Knowles. Start investing in physical gold today. Make sure you go to this URL because Acre is giving away a gold bar. To qualify for this giveaway, you got to tweet or post why you should be the recipient and mention at get underscore Acre. That is getacregold.com slash Knowles. Can I have you L-E-S? I also want to thank you, Acre Gold, for supporting the show. All right, let's keep going with the hip hop. That's the reason things are tough While you tweet from an iPhone And sip on a Starbucks You're supporting what you stand against You don't think you are But a Percocet addict Don't donate money to pharma Damn dog We're all afraid to speak the truth And the more afraid we get The more we hate the ones who do You're ashamed to be American? Okay, that's cool Cause honestly We are all ashamed of you too Y'all are so fake Oh no The forecast said that there'd be snowflakes Whoa <laughs> The Blair thing is really freaking me out. I don't, because that's supposed to be, that's the role of like the sexy woman in the thing, but yeah, Blair's a guy. Everybody's wrong, it's a real problem. Ay, they don't want to hear it, but they still talk it. Ay, soon enough, we running out of options. Ay, this ain't gonna end till it's in the coffin. Ay, we ain't gonna be friends till we try to squash it. Ay, I don't know how we can make amends or we drop it. Snowflakes melt when it's hot, kid. Y'all are so fake. Oh no, the forecast said that there'd be snowflakes. Whoa, you can make us see it your way. No way, gasoline and propane, more flames. Oh no, no more snowflakes. All right, so there's no more snowflakes. And yet there are, you know, obviously we're living in the sort of snowflake, woke, whatever we want to call it culture. So that is what's, what's dominating. And yet somehow this song jumps to number one on the charts. How is that possible? This is the complicating factor for conservatives here, because given the current culture we live in, I would much rather people be listening to that and watching that than basically anything else they could listen to or watch, right? Of course, I encourage that. Give me more of that. That's cool. Makes me feel encouraged for the culture that that jumps to number one instead of I don't know, I have truly no frame of reference, but some other stupid hip hop song that's left wing. Okay, good. But then on the other hand, you say, wait a second, is conservatism now, is the thing we're conserving, like hip hop and transgenderism and what, are, what, are we, what exactly are we conserving here? My take on it is, this is a good start. This is a good start in that you have a culture, then you had the left come in with the anti-culture and destroy that culture, right? It's I'm not being hyperbolic. I'm not just trying to throw bombs here. I'm saying the actual purpose of political correctness, wokeness, cancel culture is cancel culture, right? Is to, is to destroy something. It's to tear down the statues. It's to burn down the buildings. It's to debunk the past and the philosophy, right? It's to, it's just purely negative. And so because we're caught up in this whirlwind of destruction, we need some way out of that. So I see a video like this come along and a rapper like this come along and I think, okay, or, and Blair White, actually, in this example, who is also deconstructing gender, who is also deconstructing. Like the whole thing is kind of destructive, but they're aiming the canons of destruction at the very anti-culture that's destroying the original culture. Stay with me. So you've got the, this kind of play by their, play their game, but beat them at it, right? You've got this pl- turn their game against them on questions of sex, on questions of music, on questions of culture, on questions of art, on all of these things. How the turntables. So I'm all in for that first step, but then you've got to build something, right? Then you've got to say certain things are true. You speak the true, true. This type of art is more beautiful than this sort of art. This is a man, this is a woman. This is what America stands for. Not just this is not what America stands for. Not just this is what America is ashamed of, but this is actually the positive vision we're putting out in the world. Good first step. Now we need to offer something edifying. Let me know what you think of the song. If you enjoy my 
brilliant analysis of it. I'm, I'm just going to speak for you here and say that you believe it's brilliant. Uh, post other videos that you want me to react to in the comments below. We'll see you next time.